Welcome back. Today we got a new project here. The missus always wanted a better mixer. Uh, now we have one. It's a KitchenAid uh, heavy duty commercial thing. Uh, apparently I didn't buy it new and uh, it has a little bit of a fault. Uh, I think it's missing some heat somewhere. So, if we turn that thing on, you can see nothing is moving. It gives a bit of a whack. Doesn't sound very well. Um, looks like there's some heat missing. So we're gonna take it apart, have a look inside, and see what, it, what we can do. Parts are available. They're not cheap, these machines. So it's worth fixing it. The price was fair. Uh, the fault is as reported. Handle is missing, a couple of other things, needs a bit of a clean. It was certainly been used in a commercial kitchen. And uh, she's using it for semi-commercial stuff as well. So it's better to have something a bit more sturdy than the other one, which I'll show in a minute. Anyway. Let's have a look inside. That's the other one she's got. It's a uh, domestic tilt-head version. Uh, it comes from China. It says cuisine on it. It does work, but it's a bit stressed with uh, uh, if you use it for a longer time. So it probably needs a service as well. It works okay, but it's uh, okay. It's a domestic machine, and you can actually clearly see that. Uh, it, it does the job, but uh, it could it be better? That's the reason why she wanted a better one. All right, let's carry on with the KitchenAid mixer. Getting the thing apart should be fairly easy. It's removing these four screws, and you can take the head off, and then this pin needs to come out, and the this comes off, and then the gear train comes out. Uh, the machine has a very old style design but it's, it's actually not very old um, they still make him in this design i like it actually it's a nice retro design all right let's get the head off and uh, look into the gears so here we've got the head separated from the base um, takes a bit of force to get it off there are two location pins here and uh, then you got it off, take the base away and take take that apart, which we're going to do now. So here we've got the gear assembly apart, which is half of it. Um, this comes out with, uh, there is a drift pin here, which goes through the shaft and then just pry the whole thing off. It's, it's a bit stuck, but it's not super stuck. Uh, these gears look okay so far. From what I can see, it was lacking a bit of grease because there is grease in it, but it's dried out. So uh, that will need addressing. So the problem is actually at the top somewhere. So we need to get the bottom off here because that is the um, that's the that's the output drive, which is the planetary part. There are no gears missing as far as I can see, or no teeth missing as far as I can see. So the problem lies at the top, which is most likely at the bevel gear. We need to take these four screws out and hopefully that comes out this way. I think it does, I'm not entirely sure. To get this, there is a well, an aluminium bar or cover going around there are some screws behind here you can take that off uh, everything looks a bit messy here anyway let's get those screws out and uh, see what we find well that's how it looks inside it's a bit of a mess the grease became pretty hard and there's a lot of grind but the the metal gears are all fine it's just that plastic gear here which died that's what it looks like all the other gears look good to me so 
we take my I think we take it to the parts washer first and just clean it. Um, these parts are available relatively cheap, so I'm not gonna make one. All the other gears, they got all their teeth, which is good. They were still fairly well greased. I think it was overloaded at some point because um, you can see there are quite, I would say, five, six teeth are actually missing here. And uh, that's our problem. So this assembly comes out somehow. I just need to get rid of all this old grease here. I'm fairly happy because uh, the bearings are tight. I checked those. It's pretty hard to get it out, so the bearings are quite tight. Um, there's not much wear in the in the metal parts. It's just a plastic gear, which needs a bit of work. Uh, obviously, the whole thing needs a good clean, and then we should be good to go. So let's clean that off. I don't exactly know when the machine was made. I'm trying to figure that out in a minute, and. Uh, and we'll see. So we got everything apart here and uh, this is our problem here. That gear has lost a few plastic teeth here. I think it was overload. The metal gears are fine. So all we need is getting that plastic gear, give the whole thing a good clean because it's uh, very greasy but the grease is very stiff so I think it hasn't been looked after for a long time so we're gonna so we're gonna order a gear and a, a new gasket if you can't get one we make one um, apart from that anything else looks okay so far so we give that a good clean the parts washer get rid of that grease and uh, order the parts and then we'll come back with the reassembly. I just checked the brushes and uh, you can see the commutator here there's a bit is a bit oily and greasy down here. The brushes itself look good but uh, we may take the motor apart as well just to make sure that's okay so far. It looked okay electrically and uh, it sounds okay, but yeah, maybe it needs a bit of a, a skim. We'll see. That's not my biggest concern because uh, it was running. It didn't draw excessive current, though, so it didn't sound weird, and I think it wasn't sparking because the commutator looks good. We can check that. Um, anyway, probably worth checking while it's apart anyway. What we see is there is a little bit of grease coming through the bearing and uh, you don't want grease on the commutator. Um, we'll need addressing. Don't know if there is a some sort of seal or whatever. I need to check that. Anyway, that's it for today. We're going to order the parts, give the whole thing a good clean, put all the greasy bits in the parts washer and uh, wait for the spare parts. I think that's enough for part one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.